I honestly started using drugs um, when I was probably 16, you know, it just started off with the smoking weed and, you know, drinking with my friends. Um, and that happened up until I got pregnant um, at 17. Um, and then I didn't do anything, you know. Um, she got older and I guess I thought I'd prove myself, so I thought I could do it again. And only this time it was so much worse. And then I got into pills and then, you know, I reached heroin and after that it was, that was it. My first time I went to rehab, it was a 12-step program down here in Florida. And I really just did it to save myself because I got to where I wasn't paying my bills. And, you know, I wasn't getting in trouble, you know, with the law or anything, but it was, you could tell it was getting that way. So when I got home, I probably stayed sober for two months and then it just started all over again, like it, like it would never stop. And then a few weeks later, uh, I had gotten into some trouble and they told me I had to do something. So being in addiction and not wanting to quit, I said I'll just go to a detox because that's seven days and who can't do seven days, you know? I stayed five and left. <laughs> um, as soon as I left, I had a needle in my arm. It was, I wasn't learning nothing. All, the, all those places, the detoxes, it, all it is is keeping you away from the drug. It's not teaching you the main source of why you want to use that drug. I had an option of doing a rehab or jail time. I called my mom and I said, I want to go to a rehab, I want help. And she stayed up for hours and hours. I mean, I'd call and she'd be like, I couldn't sleep last night, I was on the computer. You know, I think I found this really awesome place. So I packed up and stayed with her for the night and she drove me to Lexington and I was here the next day. They were playing cornhole and playing music. I mean, it was just, it was so at home. It's not, you have to do this. And I mean, it's a very structured place, but it was just the most easing feeling that you can have whenever you first get somewhere where you know nobody. I got released to start class, or neuro is the first step. I, I, Neurofeedback is awesome. You know, I was kind of skeptical about it at first, not really knowing too much about it. It was so helpful because knowing that that's how active my brain was being, I learned to calm it. Because when you start calming your mind, that picture starts slowing down. And once you figure that out, it's like you see it and you're like, all right, I'm thinking too much. And then you just calm yourself back down. And it's that's an awesome feeling when you know, you know, you don't have control over what you think, um, but you can c control how much you think it, you know. It, that was probably one of the first ahas. I can't, I can't really say what was my very first insight here. Um, that was an important aha that I had. Definitely. Um, it was between that and a counselor uh, suggested that I do a silent retreat. We did a 48 hour silent retreat. And by the end of my 24, I was like, hmm, there it is. You know, and it's the same thing with drugs. I'm going to get a thought. It's like, hey, you can do this, but as long as I give myself that space and that time, like, no, no, you don't have to do anything. You know, it's just, it's awesome. The biggest thing I've got here would, would be that it's me. 
Um, nobody else can control how I feel. No one else has the power to do that. I mean, once you learn that you, you're in control, it's like no one else can take that from you. I know in 12 step, you have to say I'm powerless and I give it up and, you know, to my higher power. You don't have to do that here. Once you, once you realize that you really are powerless when you're using, but you can gain that power back here. I had to use drugs to feel like I could be the best me I could be. Um, all those things that I thought whenever I was using, I still have them sober, but now I'm just a, I'm better at it, you know, I'm, I'm healthy. And that's one of the greatest gifts that you can get is ex accepting and realizing that all those things that you thought you were when you were on drugs and your head was in a fog and it clears up and you realize I'm still that awesome brook that I knew I could be. Once I realized I was changing, it was like the weight of the world just came off of my shoulders and I was like, I can be free and I can be me and I can love it. There's not one thing that I can say about my last rehab that would make me want to stay. I couldn't wait to go home. I was counting down the days. I called every week asking if I could come home yet. Um, and I've actually asked for more time here because once you start to get it, you know, understand it, I don't want to give up on it. I've never been like, ooh, I want to read more about that. Or, I've never been so interested in something. But learning about myself is the, the best interest I've ever had. This place, it's beautiful, and this place changed my life. It saved my life.